All right, we're here to talk about UFC 247, John Jones versus Dominic Reyes. It's a very intriguing matchup because, as many people believe, Dominic Reyes has an actual chance to beat John Jones. Jones looked a little bit vulnerable, relatively speaking, in his last bout, and uh, some people m may even think that he came close to losing. And Reyes has the height, the length, the range, and the skills to give Jones trouble. He's good with his hands. He fights out of the southpaw position, and he's got a, a pretty serious straight left, counter left, and he applies pressure. You guys seen him with that victory with the left, his last fight against Weidman. You know, that, that's how he put him down, but he, he does damage with that. And if he can apply the pressure to Jones, constant combinations, and, and keep Jones on the defensive, moving backwards and sliding and dipping, uh, he's going to avoid a lot of those retaliation. He's not going to sit there and take the punishment. So he has to pressure Jones, keep Jones moving backwards, keep him from setting up so he can't unleash that crazy uh, spinning kick to the gut or, you know, that lethal left leg that he has. He'll break you down with that. He'll, he'll kick at your knee. He'll kick you in the gut from any angle, every angle, you know, kick you in the face. And he's super lightning quick with it. He can set it up off of combinations and punches, John Jones is probably the most well-rounded fighter we've seen. You know, I was always a big fan of Anderson Silva, and I thought he was probably the greatest tactician in the octagon. But I think John Jones, because of his physical traits, his superior physical traits, and now his longevity in the game, I think he's, he's a better fighter now at this point uh, than Anderson Silva probably ever was. And he's never lost a fight. He has one loss, one disqualification on his record, and that was for a, a, a 12 to 6 illegal elbow strike way back in the day against uh, Matt the Hammer Hamill. And so he's never lost. He just has disqualifications or no contest. Or, you know, they, they had his uh, victory overturned versus Cormier in the rematch, and he kicked Cormier's ass. So he's a very, very lethal fighter. And Reyes has his hands full. The thing that Reyes has going for him is that he can pretty much match up to him physically. And he's shown a lot of strength. He does have a pretty proficient, proficient ground game. He does have submission victories. And as someone pointed out, he was able to get up when Weidman took him down. And Weidman's a world-class uh, wrestler, one of the best, probably one of the best wrestlers uh, in the UFC. So, you know, he, he's, he's a well-rounded fighter also. But in order for him to win, he's going to have to pressure John Jones. And I think that's going to play into John Jones's hands. Jones is going to figure him out and probably use that pressure against Reyes and set up some kind of crazy counter strike. And I think he's going to end the fight by stoppage. Reyes is going to go for it. He's only got 12 total fights, you know, and Jones has 14 title fights. So he's got more title fights than Reyes has fights overall, you know, Dominic looked good coming coming into the UFC. He's impressive. That's why he's got this title shot. But for me, I'm no expert, but I think John Jones is still physically in his prime. And despite what you might think of him and his outside of the octagon antics, what he does inside of the octagon is legendary. And I hope we're going to see another legendary fight tonight. All right.